Hey, what's up guys, it's Lord Sando here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about strange and interesting facts and details about Deepwoken, which we don't have much information about. These details could be used as a source for theories in the future, or they could be pieces of information and mechanics that will be revealed in later leaks. If you want to see more Deepwoken content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Now let's get into the video. In Nano Prodigy's His World Deep Walk and Leak video, we can see him fighting with his Flame Charm build. He has one move equipped, which he calls Rising Paw. The first few times he uses this ability, it looks like a normal ability and nothing out of the ordinary happens. But I want you to pay close attention to when he used it this time. If you pay attention to the colour of his sword, you'll notice that it changes from a silver metal colour to a brown goldish colour. The picture on the left is what his sword looks like normally, and the picture on the right is what it looks like after it changed colour. My guess is that this is a flame charm talent. Seeing how this didn't activate every time he used this spell, I'm gonna guess that the requirements to activate this talent is just to cast a lot of fire spells consecutively. After the sword changes colour, it probably does more damage to enemies. The next unknown thing that I want to talk about was presumably a monster which was shown in Agamatsu's leak video. Oh this, I never I, I thought I actually showed off what it was, I don't think I did. <laughs> what the f Judging by his notable reaction and the dramatic Cero noise, this monster is probably somewhat significant. It's very hard to make out what it is. It looks like it could be some kind of a griffin, or it could be a, a mechanical hand as well. The image quality and the angle which Agamatsu put in his video was kind of unclear, and I'm sure he did that on purpose. The next piece of information is from Blackstar's Combat Leak video. This was just a two second clip, but I found it very interesting. In this clip, Blackstar and someone else are flying across the skies. We can see an outline of a tall island or structure in the distance. This means that they're gliding very high above sea level. In order for them to get there in the first place, that either must mean that there is a place on the map which has very high altitude which you can fly from, or there is a way to gain altitude while gliding. I think a system like this would be something like Genshin Impact's air currents, which boost you up into the air when you glide near them. The final thing that I want to talk about is something that I've received a ton of comments about. In Agamatsu's video leak, we saw a new GUI bar which was green, being added to the game. My initial impression was that it was something to do with potions, but now I realise I'm probably wrong. A lot of people in that comment section were saying it was armor durability, but we know that the armor durability bar is white, and it's located directly above the green bar. One of my subscribers notified me that when Akabatsu was playing on his Kanor character, we didn't see that green bar. This even means that the green bar is linked to the Vesperian race, or it is linked to a talent which he hasn't unlocked on his Kano yet. I believe it could be a Vesperian race passive. In Agamatsu's video, we saw that the green bar reduced when he took damage. Since Vesperians are beetles and they have unique masks, the green bar could represent a defense buff which Vesperians get, and when the bar runs out, the mask breaks. It could also be a fortitude or willpower talent, which activates once you've taken a certain amount of damage. That's all I have for today's video. If you want to see more videos like this, where I just rapid fire go through lots of topics at once, then please let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and peace out.